for my kids. Do you really think I'm that stupid? You've told me it was exciting, made you feel special. I get it. There's more to it than that. You still think it's some great love story. It was my choice. Having a baby with him. My choice. And if you get to make it, probably the most important choice of your life. Not some one night stand some stupid accident I had to deal with. But I, I knew what I was doing. I knew what I wanted. I looked at Owen and I, I said, yes, he's the one. I chose. You made a mistake then, didn't you? And that's what it felt like. And then I thought, no, oh, he was turning his life around. I thought, if he can do that, maybe I wasn't wrong about him after all. I wanted to believe in him. So why are we going? What? Well, if he's sorted his life out, why are we going? Well, I've made the plans I'll make now. Them. Chelsea, don't you understand? I'm not moving again. This is home. I've got friends here, people I care about. And I'm not about to give it up just because you want to prove you're some great judge of character. I'm going out. Where? Anywhere. Chelsea, please. Uh, uh, with your mother. Jim and me, we don't have no secrets. He's told me everything. Yeah, I bet. Your soft story. There's nothing you can tell me. Why are they married young? No, we didn't really love her. It was his fault, but it was just one of those tragic things that happened in those days. Well, yes, but it was tragic. Because people nowadays, you know, they don't realise what it was like with their quickie divorces and they're living in sin. But in them days, you know, there was such a thing as duty and sticking by one another. Yeah. Uh, Death does part. I know my husband. Do you? Well, he tells a good story, I bet. I mean, the only trouble is that he only speaks for himself. So he speaks for Rainy, that's what I'm wondering. He speaks for my mum. Take a guess what it was like actually living in that house. Jim's told me. Oh, really? How'd he do that then? He weren't there. He, he weren't there when Mum dived into the bottle because it's the only way she could get through the day. Or when the moods came, yelling, lashing out. Oh, and then the hugs and the, the smells like booze and cheap scent. The tears. I mean, you got any idea how scary it is to see your mum cry? He tell you all about that, did he? He's a good man. He's made mistakes, but he's sorry. Can you say the same? They tell you about the bath. What? I don't think so. It was uh, his mum's birthday. Dad didn't show until about nine. Been down the boozer, but he must have remembered what day it was because he got her a present. Bottle of bourbon. She's an alcoholic and he buys it out. When he gave it to her, he laughed. He said, now she could have a party, just her and a bourbon. Then he went. Sometime later, she uh, she ran herself a bath. She must have had most of the bottle. Maybe it seemed like a good idea. She took her clothes off and, and fell in. Only she'd forgotten to turn the cold tap on. Must have had a tank full of hot water in there. If I close my eyes, I can still hear the scream. I had to get her out. Mm. She was red. Her old body was red. I was only a kid. I mean, what, what did I know? I tried to look after her until the ambulance came. I, um, I wrapped her in a towel and uh, sort of held her in my arms. Oh, she whimpered like a dog. My mum. 
for four days. She was in the hospital for four days before he bothered to show up. And do you know the first thing he did when he saw her? <laughs> he told her he was docking her allowance for the hot water she'd wasted. Oh. You got yourself a hell of a catch now. I didn't remember that. You, you don't like me, but that's, that's fine. You think I'm cruel and selfish and unforgiving? Maybe. But ask yourself this. Why do you think that is? Mum, there was no parcels, no packages, nothing. <laughs> Who said anything about a parcel? Yeah, well, I thought it was like... Well, what about a letter? Yeah, I mean, probably this, but it's like from the council, I think. Oh, open it. Mum, I promise you, it's not going to be anything interesting. There, see, it's from a solicitor. We never know, it might be interesting. Yeah, right. When your dad died, well, we got compensation. So, some of it I gave to Ruth and Mark to help them with the mortgage. Some to Ian to help him with his business. Some for me. And the rest I put in a trust fund for you. Ready for your 21st. Oh. Just look upon it as a head start. Have you seen how much this is? Well, with interest, it should be quite a tidy sum. £27,982.50. Well, tidier than I thought. <laughs> Look upon it something from me and your dad, eh? Happy birthday, son. You have to stay. Yes, I now more than ever. Come. You have to deal with this, Mum. <laughs> Stand up to him. He's a bully. That's all you've got to do. I'm scared. But there's laws. Oh, that's not it. He raises a finger. We can have him pull. No, it's not about him. I'm not afraid of him. It's me. You what? I'm afraid I'll just let him in again. Why? However hard I'll try, I'll... You don't know what he's like. Just now, he... It's like he knows what to say and I'll... I want to tell him to go, to leave us, but... I can't. Why? Because I know he still loves me. Oh, do me a favour. I'll, I'll see. You don't understand. He slaps you about and you know he loves you? Yes. Oh, he stayed. All those years ago. When I was pregnant with Squiggle, he stayed, not like your dad. Or mine. He didn't walk out. And now here he is again. And what do you think that is, eh? Because he cares, it matters. Everything he does is because he feels something. How can you say that? How can you say you matter? He hit you. If he didn't care, why would he track us down? If I didn't matter to him, why would he... You'll spare one of them. I didn't know you spoke. High days and holidays. And you think you know someone? Everyone is full of surprises. Hello, Rachel Simpson. I'm oh, not. I just want to organise something for you. You would? Oh, you only 21 once, eh? All right. Let's make it a good one, then. Class. OK. Champagne and all that. Yeah? Yeah, you're only 21 once, ain't you? It's never all good or bad, there's always something in between. When are you going to face the truth? That is the truth. No, it's what you tell yourself to make you feel better. That's not fair. Not fair! You bang on about how you wanted to have a kid with him. What an important choice it was. But what about me, Mum? Was it so wonderful having me? It can't have been that great. My daddy never stuck around, did he? So I was what? A mistake. But you, him and Squiggle 
before you were a family. He hated me. He never wanted me around because I was another man's kid. Oh, but if you'd come to me... I did. Mind. You didn't want to know. You just make excuses for him just like you're doing now. I was your daughter. But when he came to me, you always said he died. Oh, Chelsea, come on, babe. He hit me too. That was an accident. Why? Because he was aiming for you. But it, it was between the two of us. You should never have got in the middle. It was... It was a mistake. Because it was the dream. Because he only got violent when he was drunk. Yes. He didn't know what he was doing. Yeah, that's right. He didn't even think about it. Yes. So how come Squiggle never knew? How come in all that time she never saw, never had a clue? All oh, that alcohol. And he still knew to wait till she had gone to bed. Hadn't you ever thought about it? I don't... I mean, I hadn't. The night he hit you. The night we left. And every day since, part of me thought we would find us. Part of me hoped. What have I done? What's this here, Major? I, oh, I'm doing lunch, my love. Uh, one of my cauliflower specials. What's special about it? You can eat it. <clears throat> Look, I think I owe you an apology. I was a bit hasty earlier on. I spoke to Max. Yeah, well, I shouldn't be wasting too much time. I think they don't get it through to some people. Say, stuck in the past. Bit of bacon. That'll give it a bit of all. If you like. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know he was so bitter and twisted. No, he used to be. Uh, just goes to show, doesn't it? Um, well, one I'm late because of the oh, thing. don't worry about it. Oh, are we ready to go then? Not anymore. We're not going. Then what do you mean? We're staying put. We yeah. are. Great. I mean, going to be good and all that. Oh, it's Dad not. Yeah. Oh, do you want me to tell him or do you want to do it? I will. Are you ready for this? I think so. 